Okay, guys, since the last two 20 packs didn't go so great since that first juiced up box, I'm going to go with one Ironclad Deluxe 10 pack for my final box. Let's see if these higher pack odds and percentages make any difference whatsoever. Here we go, guys. Let's do this. Let's go. Come on, Chet. Come on, Eric Jordan. Come on, Scotty Pippen. I'd be real happy even to get um, Gary Payton. He would definitely be my PG1. But I highly doubt I'm going to see a pink diamond here tonight. The chances of getting Michael Air, Jeffrey Jordan, or Gabby Payton is less than 1%. is a 1% chance, and those are not very good odds. We have a better chance of seeing all Andrew Bogut's for the rest of this box than seeing a Michael Air, Jeffrey Jordan, or any other pink diamond come out of here. But let's just stay positive and hope for the best. Could you imagine if you bought a 10 box and the whole box was just nothing but Andrew Bogut's? That would be bogus. Not funny, 2K. Not fucking funny at all. No, I don't want to see a whole fucking 10 pack of Andrew Bogut's. That would suck donkey dick. Okay, guys. It doesn't look like these higher pack odds help one bit. Pack odds of 2.8% isn't much of a difference. It's the same fucking cards as if it was in the 20 box. But no, I have misspoken and I've been proven wrong. Maybe I should have gone with the 10 box the whole fucking time. Because here we have another sexy shake. I don't even want to go through my whole routine. I just want to see who the fuck... Oh, it's an Amethyst. But it's all good. An Amethyst is still going to fetch a lot of MT. Let's see who it is. Maybe it's that um, 91 overall. 72 interior defense. Who the fuck could this be? Small forward. Oh, yeah. It's got to be someone from the set. My bad. I forgot about that. Well, he's definitely going to go into the auction house. Okay. We didn't get a diamond shake out of this, but it definitely led to a lot more MT. 